Hey everyone, James George here, and today I'm going to talk about the Monstroid WordPress theme by Template Monster. If you're not familiar with it, it's a new theme that they have created where you're supposed to be able to create just about anything uh, using a, a simple installation wizard and that has all kinds of extensions and, and plugins that you can use, including child themes for different types of websites. So uh, what I did was I went and made the purchase and I received a few emails from Template Monster. And you'll have your license key and then you have your, uh, you have different links to different things such as the Monstroid Wizard, which I guess will help you set up the theme, and uh, a link to the documentation and helpful tutorials. Another little bonus with this is you get 120 uh, Photoshop files that have to do with Monstroid. So I guess you would take those files and bring them into Photoshop and customize them to match your branding and your, your company and your website and stuff. So if you click on the delivery page, it takes you to this page. And here you can download the theme itself. And then on top of that, you should have the um, Monstroid Wizard plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my site and I'm going to go to themes. I'm going to go ahead and hit add new. Now I've not tried any of this. I've not rehearsed this or done this before. So I'm just doing this just like I was just bought it. So this is live. I'm doing this live. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And first I'm going to, it might still be, oh, it's still downloading. Okay, so we'll just wait a minute for this to finish downloading. It's quite a sizable file. In the meantime, I can go to plugins, and I'll go ahead and install, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go ahead and install the wizard plugin. Wizard will help you install your Monstroid theme. So let's just say Okay, and let's click the install theme button and see what happens. Okay, so for a single license key, you can use it for no more than three domains. So I'm going to go back here, copy my license key, and flip back here so I don't even have to download that file directly. I'm going to go ahead and drop that license key in here and hit start. So you can install the Monstroid main theme, or you can install one of the child themes. I'm going to go with the main theme to start out with. So it's built on the Cherry framework, which is a common framework for uh, WordPress themes. And it says it's installing the child theme. It's activating that. Live chat, data manager. It starts, it's already starting to install everything for you. Layouts, charts, grids, mega menu, a portfolio, rank, services, short codes, short code templater. It's it's installing everything just automatically. Simple slider, sidebar manager, social, team, testimonials, just about everything you would need for a website. Motopress content editor, that's a drag and drop editor, I believe. Motopress slider, contact form seven. Regenerate th thumbnails, WooCommerce for your own online store, wish list, MailChimp, all that stuff. Okay, so once that's done, this is important to install content. Your theme contains outdated copies of some WooCommerce template files. These may need updating to ensure that they are compatible with the current. See which files are effective. In doubt, check with the author of the theme.
Okay, so this is install sample data in order to make your site look exactly like their demo, including all images, pages, layouts, options, etc. So let's go take a look at the demo and see if that is what we want. I'm just going to go to the Monstroid page and see if I can find a button that says Demo. See Live Demo. So let's see what, what that will look like. So if you install the demo data, this is what your site will look like to begin with. And you can drop in your own images and customize the information with your own so that it saves you from having to build everything yourself. This is both good and bad because if you just want to get a site up and running and you know and this is exactly what you want then you can just hit the ground running which is pretty nice. But if you want to really customize the whole look and the layout then this can be actually more harm than good. So I'm going to go ahead and install the demo data just so we can see if it actually runs through everything like it should and makes it as easy as it's supposed to be. So let's say you wanted this to look exactly like the demo. Install from cloud. I'll go ahead and install the demo data from the cloud. You can skip this if you want to set everything up yourself, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this. File Files successfully uploaded. Please make sure you have uploaded JSON and some files. We'll hit continue install and we'll see if it just go ahead and goes ahead and updates everything itself. So I'm gonna let it run. And this wizard's supposed to do everything for you. So let's see what exactly what it's doing. It's importing the options, custom database tables, importing posts, attaching terms to imported, uh, imported posts, comments, metadata. It's doing all this for you. So this looks like this may take a little bit of time to run. The downside to this is it's going to have all that stuff in your database that it may not necessarily need to be there. That's the only ca caveat to this is you may have extra data that you really don't need. But it's not something that's going to be so big that you have to worry about taking up space, you know, a significant amount of space on your database. But all the images and attachments are going to upload to your server. So that's something you're going to want to consider. If you do end up replacing the images, I would recommend deleting the old ones that you don't that you're not using to save space. If you're on some sort of limited hosting. And so you can see that this does take some time because we're only 50% done. We've been sitting here for a couple minutes. But on the flip side of that, you could imagine setting everything up yourself would probably take a lot longer than what it would just sitting here letting this install everything automatically. The key to this installation wizard and deciding if it is really worth uh, running through this is if it truly looks like the demo when it's done. Because I don't know about you, but I've installed WordPress themes where they claim to have demo data and that your site will look exactly like the demo. And then you can customize things for yourself, save you some time if you're just trying to launch a site quickly and then you install the wizard or you uh, import the demo data and it looks nothing like it's supposed to look and you don't know why and you spend time trying to figure out why this doesn't look like the demo and it could be a real headache. So you can see that we're still at 51 percent. It's installing a lot of data it looks like. I, I have to wonder exactly what size all this has to be. Like I said when I started this video, 
I've not, in, I've not done this before. This is my first time looking at this. And so I'm getting a fresh perspective just like you. I wanted to give you a true unboxing video of the Monstroid theme and what you can expect when you install this on your own site and how it works, if it works, how quickly things will go, and what you can expect. You can imagine trying to put all this um, data in yourself, trying to get your site to look like the demo. You can tell that there's a lot of different aspects to the site, the demo, and all these features. They apparently have demos for their uh, child themes as well. So you, you might want to check those out if you're looking for a specific theme or some specific style that you want your site to be. But everything looks pretty clean and simple and straightforward. We're at 55% now. So I, I guess I'll just keep on talking while this installs. Looking at these different elements on the side here, you have a lot of different modules for different aspects of your site. So if you need to create some charts, you've got a chart section, you've got a portfolio section. So if you're a designer or a photographer, you can import your portfolio images and display them in this section. And this is the custom post type for that. It has a section for services, and you can break those services down into categories. It even has a team section, so you can add and take away team members as your team grows or as you get rid of someone. If they just don't cut the mustard, you can fire them and take them right off your site. You just go to team, and, and I'm sure there's a delete section for, for that person. Testimonials, if you have clients that are happy with your work, which you should have, it's how you stay in business, you can add their testimonials to this section. My guess is this is for your slider, your sliding gallery, and so it has a slide list, and you can go in there and edit those. Clients would be, uh, I'm sure you see on a lot of websites, uh, that have client logos listed. We've worked with so and so, you know, and it just further solidifies your um, position as someone who works with reputable companies. And so that can help your reputation and help you actually gain more clients because they come to your site and say, oh, well, they've worked with this organization, this organization, this organization. I trust all of the, those people. So if they've worked with them, then they must be reputable. So, you know, you can get a lot of phone calls from potential clients just from having the right logos on your site. Now, it's on the other hand, you don't want to lie and say that you've worked with somebody that you haven't because those people will usually get in touch with the, those people to, to check you out and say, well, I see that on so-and-so's website that they've worked with you. How are they? Do they deliver their projects on time or do they, meet, they miss deadlines? How is it to work with them? And they may say, well, I've never worked with them. Why aren't why are they saying this? So be sure that you are honest with your clients, your client lists, and what you display on your site. Wo uh, con contact would be your contact forms. WooCommerce is where you build your online store. And your, you add your products in the product section. Cherry Framework, there's Statics Editor and Short Codes Templater. Now I'll have to check that out later uh, after we finish installing everything. There's regenerate thumbnails. If you ever change a theme and go from one theme to another, regenerating thumbnails uh, can make, because your, your images, if you change from one theme to another, it may use a certain size images. And so then when you change to that new theme, it may use a different size image. And so all your images will look distorted. If you hit regenerate thumbnails, it will magically regenerate all the thumbnails in the site to match the size that that theme needs to display properly. So that's fantastic. Settings is your typical WordPress settings. Uh, MailChimp for WordPress that uh, sets up MailChimp forms for you to be able to collect email addresses. So if you're building a blog or you're trying to uh, develop an email list of clients or people that you could sell to, 
those forms will help you to grow your list. Modo Press, I believe, is the content editor. So you uh, like your page builder. So that's how you build your pages and make them look exactly how you want them to look without having to, to code them. And then Modo Press has its own slider. So if you're creating your own sliding gallery, you could choose between Modo Press slider or you could choose uh, this slides list. I'm, they might be related, but I'm not sure. But Motopress requires a license, which you will get in your email. And so I received an email for the content editor for um, you know the license for using that. And so they have documentation and stuff. And all these emails are automatically generated to you. And when you sign up with Template Monster, they'll give you a login that you can use to go in and access all of your stuff. So it looks like it's automatically doing everything for you, generating all the attachments and even cropping them. It looks like it's cropping images like they need to be in order for them to display properly. We're at 67% and I have been at this video now for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So it's taken some time to install, but if it truly does do everything automatically for you, 15 minutes of sitting here waiting for an install is a lot quicker than two or three hours for you to build this yourself. Okay, you've successfully installed your new theme with sample data, view your site. So I'm going to go up here, visit site. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to bring it up and see how it is. And let's see if this looks just like the demo. The only thing is these pictures are missing, but it may be those may be placeholder images because they they expect for you to replace them anyway. So let's look at it would be this tab here. So it looks pretty close. So looking at this more closely, it looks like everything is pretty much there except for your team team members, our expertise based on our experience. Looks like there's still some values that need to be placed in. Introduce our best customers. So you, they expect you to put in your own, your own images for that. So um, just remember to create transparent PNGs of the logos of the companies you want to bring in. But everything looks like it is pretty close to the demo. Very, very close. My question is, if we scroll up, does it have has all these pages? I'm not sure if I wanted to do all of these pages. But if all these pages are built for you, that will save you a lot of time. All of these are completely built for you. It's pretty impressive. That's probably why it took so long. Careers. So you can build as big of a site as you want. Careers, you have vacancies, accordions, large images. I'm just looking through these different pages. Contact us. looks really clean and looks like it has literally done everything for you.
I'm flipping through the pages here. Frequently asked questions. These are all accordions. There's been showing you different types. And this is all stuff that you can view in the demo. So I'm not going to go through every one of these pages, but you can get an idea of what is available. And it automatically puts all this together. Imagine how annoying, and I don't know if you have done this yourself, but if you try to build your own pricing tables, it can be really annoying because uh, you have to put in all these values yourself, which is really frustrating. So it's even showing you these different styles of pricing tables, which is fantastic. So then let's look at, let's say, a grid style portfolio, grid style type one. Let's see how that works. Now it may, nope, it has sample images in there. So it's a portfolio with images and descriptions. And it's sortable probably. Looks like it. Okay, so let's do grid style two. So that's a three column. Grid style three. I like this one the best because it has the images as the title, the subtitle. Nice hover effects. And so let's look at the blog style. You see different content types here, and it's all done for you. So you can get an idea of what different content will look like in different sections. That's great. Timeline style. I have to see that because that's becoming a popular thing now. And that's that's great too. That looks fantastic. It looks just like I expected. And you even have your own shop. So what, um, what I'm going to do is in the uh, video here, I'm going to put a link to our Template Monster and Monstroid where you can go and grab the theme yourself. And for uh, being able to put it on three domains and just everything you get with it, that's it's well worth the money. So you can get a lot out of uh, one theme with just a little uh, a small investment. So think about if you have client websites, you need something that will be easy for you to use. This would be a good a good thing for that. If you have your own site, you want to build it for uh, to get more clients and look professional without having to uh, get really deep into coding. This is a this is a good theme. Um, I'm pretty impressed with uh, overall with how everything's set up and the installation wizard made everything easy. You basically have an entire site built from scratch as the demo in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. I may create another video looking at the MotoPress page builder and things like that, but that's I think that's a video for another time. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to do a video about different features on the site that I haven't covered, uh, just shoot me an email or mention it in the comments, and I'll create another video in a few days. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.